Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a Cleveland dot plot using Python. I'm using Python 3, uh, I think it's 3.97 uh, via Anaconda and Jupyter Lab. Um, a Cleveland dot plot looks something like the one shown here. Uh, I can perhaps even zoom in a little bit. Um, where a dot is placed at the highest frequency. Uh, of each category, so uh, this one would indicate that about two or exactly two people had uh, one drink and four people had two drinks, etc. Uh, in a regular dot plot there would be dots for each case and in a Cleveland dot plot it's only at the top one. Now this can actually easily be made if you use uh, Seaborn, so uh, and I will need NumPy Perhaps I don't actually even need NumPy, but at least I need Pandas as well. And of course, um, Seaborn. So this will load this in. And if you never installed it before, it will actually install it for you using the pip install. So for me, I've all of these already once installed, so I only need to import them. And I need an example data. I'm going to use a data file called GSS2012. The A stands for that. I adjusted it slightly. It's from the General Social Survey. Um, and I'm going to use the pandas read CSV function to load it in. And I'm going to choose the marital status, which was labeled MAR1, um, to actually uh, create a dot plot from, or a Cleveland dot plot. Um, to get a quick impression, I can use the variable counts so I have uh, married were 972 people uh, 314 for example were divorced etc and actually now we can already make this um, Cleveland dot plot uh, it's a variation on a strip plot as uh, Seaborn calls this so I'm going to use my Seaborn strip plot function my access will be from that frequency table the key so basically the married up till separated and my Y values will be the frequencies of that table, so the 972 to the 79. I don't want to have any jitter, and I'm going to increase the size of a dot to 10. Um, you can, of course, change this to your own likings. And here we have the dot plot. Actually, it projects the 972 dots on top of each other, but that's fine. In the end, the result looks exactly like a Cleveland dot plot. And that's how you can make fairly easy a Cleveland dot plot using Python. Uh, hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.